Well, you know, it's private property, so I guess he's limited to how many acres he has. So, I mean, he's just making great use out of every every inch of this place. Oh, yeah! It looks like it turned Woo! off left there a little bit into the high grass. Everybody loved it anyway. The crowd loved it, yeah. Let's see if Board can get it up to the pin. It's a lot of air, but catches some of those trees. See the leaves drift caught, down. Caught some lettuce. That looks like a nice shot. You can hear as he throws the cameras being, s the pictures being snapped. That's oh, yeah. exciting. Oh, nice shot. See what Chick can do here on his first shot. His last chance to move up. Or if you're not careful, move back in the field. There's the basket right over the lip there. Oh. Tailed Just off. off. And this is where the r pressure is really on for these guys. And again, a nice tough lie for him. Tough pin, uh, foot position here, not even on his feet, on his knees. Well, Brad and Tony are tied right now, so. He puts it under the basket pretty easily. Oh, and he drops it right onto the basket. Pitts has a little bit of trees in his way. Mostly in the way of his face here. Hmm. Oh, he just, just sort of laid it up kind of real quick there. Didn't have far to go, and he did, I don't think he was trying to make the putt there, but... Yep, didn't need to make that. He didn't want to push it and make a mistake there. He's got a big enough lead. Oh, Ooh. Tony cannot be happy about that. You no, know, he wants to finish on a high note. That's not what he wanted to do. There we go. Blakely finishes strong. Again, they're congratulating each other. He's going for par. Yeah, that's one thing about this golf. There's there's great sportsmanship throughout all the ranks, amateur, professional, and when you play all day or for a weekend with these players, you really get to know them and you really respect their game. Absolutely. It's like we're a big family. Uh, Mike's just gonna let everybody put out last, uh, you know, put out and get out of his way, kind of, because he knows he's gonna he's gonna hear from the gallery for this performance oh today. Yeah. As he just absolutely owns this tournament. Unless he uh, six putts this, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna win this tournament pretty easily. <laughs> All right, and boards out of the way, and let's watch Moser finish it off. Oh, nice and easy putt. It. And the crowd does go crazy Those for him. Arms up. That big smile on he his face. He just cruised. What a, what a, what a great tournament. What Some a great day. And there we have it. Mike Moser winning the tournament with a 206. Pat Pitts taking second. Matthew Blakely third. Ford in fourth. And Tony Ellis and Brad Schick tied for fifth. We'll be right back. What a great tournament. I got to tell you, there was some great disc golf action there. And, you know, Mike Moser pretty much had to lead for a while. But the tr real story here was with Pat Pitts with second place. Uh, it's not to be forgotten. He did a great job. He was able to birdie the gauntlet, which is not easy to do. He was able to make that great shot on hole 14 when he skipped it off the dock. Um, he, he was absolutely fantastic. And uh, third place, Matthew Blakely, for a young guy, he kept his head together, showed composure, and he really had a great day too. 
You know, there is a little-known tradition here at Paw Paw that if you do take first place in the tournament, um, you're supposed yes. to take a dip in the lake. And not the slimy one, but the nice one. Um, now, we're not so sure if Moses is going to do it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's... It's like he's taking a look at the lake. I'm not really sure if he's going to actually take a run at it. I think maybe he's thinking about it. I think he's like going to do it. <laughs> go for it. Oh, baby. Maybe he'll grab Tony's disc while he's in there. <laughs> That's true. Maybe he will. Well, that's about all the time we have here on Disc Golf Monthly. Thanks for joining us. Uh, for myself, Todd Cottrell, I'm here with Matt Ott. Uh, why don't you join us again next month?